which I really do apologize about that, you guys. I've been having some technical difficulties with my internet and with my computer, so sorry. Um, but anyhow, I just wanted to just go back to um, basically what I was discussing about my um, hiccup with the financial aid and my staff appeal form. That's basically what I had to do was a staff appeal. Um, and that just basically um, took away my financial aid, uh, well, actually suspended my financial aid for a little bit. And then I had to submit the letter and I got my results back from the letter um, that I submitted for my financial aid to be um, put back on my account and so I can go to school. And that did happen. So I am officially back in school. Well, I was never out, but my financial aid is um, is what was uh, preventing me to go to class for this semester. But I am back. <laughs> so it was like a three-day process type thing. I um, put it in and it was basically done like within 24 hours. So um, I guess I just wanted to see that you are, you know, um, very focused and that you want to complete school and stuff like that. So that's definitely something that I had to get done as soon as possible. Um, but needless to say, everything is fine now. Um, I'm back. I'm happy to be back. Um, also, um, I don't know whether I told y'all on the last video, but I do appreciate you guys for, um, writing me, commenting, liking, subscribing, everything for is my channel. You guys, it means a lot to me. And it also means a lot to me for is going through or embarking on this journey, um, for nursing school. I read every one of you guys comments and they are so heartwarming y'all y'all I have I get emotional sometimes because it's just so overwhelming of the response that I be getting and reading you guys stories and stuff um helps me get through my um journey you know and it really helps me stay on track and I know that I have to do this and it basically just give me a extra push and I really do appreciate you guys for being there and listening and subscribing, commenting and letting me know, you know, uh, you guys situation as well. Cause I see a lot of comments that I read, they all have, um, similar situations to mine and, um, whether you are a mother or not or student or whatever, you know, um, I, try to apply back to everybody and I hope that I have applied back to everybody that has been leaving comments um but uh you guys stories are very very um good um to me and they help me get by so um thank you thank you you guys keep like don't give up on me um I know videos have been slow lately and again I've told you about my difficulty with everything for is my computer and internet and stuff like that so it hasn't been the great the greatest experience but I promise it would get better um but I do um I am excited to also let you guys know that not only that you know um my financial aid and stuff is you know together now um I I, I went to Michael's to get a planner you guys but let me tell you to go get a planner y'all I was so excited um, and I want to share this planner with you because I've never really used a planner you guys um, I just kind of just go with the flow and write down notes and stuff here and there to kind of get me by but I know that I need to organize my life I need to organize you know my semester to where I don't forget anything because um, one class that I am taking this semester uh, which school starts on January the 11th. I know in my uh, previous video, I kept editing, showing that it's January the 11th. It's not January the 5th. So um, I know that, you know, with coming up with school and everything, I need to be organized. I need to plan and I need to make sure that everything is due when it's due and stuff like that. Um, but one class that I am taking um, this semester is um, Site 201. And I'm taking that online, so I definitely have to be um, very, um, I basically need to have my P's and Q's on. Because this is the thing, um, I don't mind taking online classes. I, I actually have taken online classes before. It wasn't as bad. Um, I just feel like sitting in a classroom, just to have that classroom setting is very, um, is helpful, um, to say the least. So... 
I am taking Psych 201 online and I'm excited about it as well, but I just need to be, you know, um, very, I need to discipline myself um, so I won't fall short because that is one class that I need an A in. So, so not just only that for Psych um, this semester, I'm actually taking one of my math classes as well. Next semester is kind of going to be a heavier semester. I'm taking my bios. Um, also I am taking my, um, English, um, which I had to go take one of my assessments over because when I first started school, you guys, I didn't do so well on my assessments, like my entrance, um, assessment test. Um, so I was basically kind of just rushing and I didn't really pay attention to the things I needed to pay attention to. And I just wanted to get up out of there because I was just like over it at that point and I went back and took it and y'all I tell you no lie I scored like a 50 something on the first try when I first took it like when I had went in school for my English test y'all it was terrible it was so bad I was so embarrassed I was like oh my god am I dumb or what you know but um I'm glad that I took one of my um classes that was um that I had to take um, to get a higher score, but I used that class and, um, I basically wanted to score higher. And I think that this class really helped me because I was able to score higher on this test that I went back to go take so I can get a higher score so I can be exempted out of one of my classes. So I went and took it the other day and y'all, I made a 83. Y'all, when I mean to tell you, I believe that the class that I took, well, I know that the class I took helped me because I literally, it was 20 questions and now we are using, it's something called the, the, the Occupacer, Occupacer or something like that test. So um, they changed it from the Compass to the Occupacer test. Um, so I never seen it before. I didn't know the material. The only thing I knew is that, you know, I just needed to study and really, I, I, really, I was studying for the compass. I wasn't even studying for the acupuncture because I didn't know anything about it. Um, so I went in and took it. It, it basically had 20 questions. Um, I made an 83 on it and y'all, I was so excited about it because one thing is that I know I improved tremendously because the first test I took was a 56 or yeah. 56 and I did horrible and that put, um, placed me in classes that um, basically remedial courses I had to take remedial courses just to you know get like start um, taking my you know program courses and I was just so discouraged and I think that was one of the reasons why before when I um, uh, first had signed up for school I was like oh my god I gotta take all these remedial courses and stuff it's gonna push me back and this that, and third and then I was just like I can't do it. So, but um, that's neither here nor there. I'm glad that I was able to place um, higher and I zipped it out of um, one of those classes. So therefore I can go directly in my English class in which I am so excited about that you guys, very excited because I did great. So yay to me. But anyhow, um, so let's just go ahead and jump with um, straight in, y'all. I just had to let y'all know that little quick little update because I was very happy and I was excited and stuff like that. And I just wanted to share that with you guys so you you guys know that please don't get discouraged when you have to, like, if this is your first time applying to nursing school or applying to school, period, and you have to take remedial courses, take those classes, y'all, because they help. Honestly, they help. I, I literally went up almost 30 something points by taking that class and going to retest and making a higher grade to where I exempted out of one of the classes that I, you know, um, was going to have to take. So great job for me. Um, but anyhow, so planner time. This is my happy planner and you guys excuse my nails. I know I have to go get my nails done. So don't judge me. Okay. But anyhow, this is my happy planner. Um, it states on the front, today is a perfect day to start living your dreams. And I love, love, love this quote. If it is a quote or not, I don't even know. But I'm saying it's a quote because I like it. Um, <laughs> but this is my 365-day um, uh, planner that I purchased out of Michael's. I will be posting the link um, in the bio. So you guys can go check it out or stop at your local Michael's to go see about this binder. But y'all, I got this idea um, off of, I was watching a video. I can't remember who it was, but they was um, comparing Happy Planner, which is this, 
Um, they have different um designs and stuff as well. Happy Planner and Erin Cohen. Cohen uh, Planner. And to be honest, you guys, um, this is just my honest opinion. I'm a cheap, cheapskate, cheap goat, whatever name y'all want to call it. Um, I'm all about saving. So I found this online. And it's actually in the store as well. I, I, I actually went to the store and I did a price match um, for the same location. Um, but they was actually 50% off. And this um, um, planner was uh, $14, $14.99 actually. It was like $30 some dollars and I ended up getting it for $15. Um, I also went and got a poster so I can start doing my vision board. Yeah. Uh, y'all, I am, I love, uh, well, politely, I love, uh, posters and I think that this vision board is going to help me, um, get my dream out there to the universe and it's going to help me to everything I need to do for us embarking on my new journey. And, um, I'm going to also post a video of that once I start that. I don't think, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate everything from you guys. You guys are great. Please like, subscribe, comment below and catch you later. Bye. Hi you guys. So I'm back here. Um, just to do a quick, um, tutorial on the happy planner so i just want to go more into detail about it um my phone was giving me issues so i was trying to go ahead and do that through my phone but it was giving me issues so just to go ahead and go through it right quick you guys um again it's a happy planner um has a great quote on there today is is a perfect day um to start living your dreams so this is my happy planner um i was going to go with aaron cohen um but i Decided to go the cheaper route, and this one was on sale, 50% off at Michael's, um, in which I really do um, like that it was 50% off because I wasn't going to pay no more than $20 for a planner, of course, um, even though I do plan on using it. But um, that's neither here or there. So as you see um, here, um, you have the laminated um, portion of it. And this laminated portion is basically um, what's going to protect like the anything or the, you know, drop on anything that you have that. Um, this is just something that I can take off. This is just um, paper, basically, um, that I can take off. Um, but anyhow, as you look in the inside here, the polka dots, and you have the hello, and you put your name there. Um, if like, you can see it, um, but they put your information right here. It's a this um, big happy planner belongs to and then I'll just put my name um also um as you turn into the first page here you have your whole year um well both years 2017 to 2018 this is one thing that I did like about this planner is because it does have um a uh to the second page here you have um just a brief this month um what on what you plan on doing this month um, as you can see, um, and you can just kind of like put like things in there, um, that you are planning on doing for that month. Also, you have, um, birthdays and goals and stuff like that, that you want to achieve for that month as well. On each month, as I was scrolling through it, um, you have a quote and this one is from Maya Angelou, um, which, um, it reads, it reads, um, we delight in the beauty of the butterfly but rarely admit the changes it has gone through to achieve beauty and if you can look at it in each month like for instance um this is january so this is the month that we in if we go to february there's another one so there are very um great inspirations in each um month um beginning of the month, like quotes and stuff like that, that can, that can help you, you know, kind of get through your day or month or whatever. Um, but I think that is very cool to have that. Scrolling into the month, as you see, there's a full um, calendar there. Um, has your, um, has your uh, monthly um, dates and stuff like that that's in there. And also you have a lot of space that you can write within these um, sections here as well. Um, scrolling into the month, you also have some
some more space here that you can kind of jot down. Say like you have a test coming up or something like that, something that you don't um, want to miss and stuff like that. You can also jot that in there. Um, down here at the bottom um, are a little small little insert there that you can kind of put um, just like miscellaneous stuff, I believe. So that's good as well. Uh, scrolling into February. Um, also, you have, again, for um, that month, um, what you plan on doing or or have planned to do. And you put there places where you can put um, your notes as well. Take notes. So you can take notes for basically what you have done for the year or anything, um, which is cool. Um, but I really did like that. Um, that is big. It's colorful. Um, you can pretty much add whatever you want to. And you guys, I believe that I seen a lot of stuff in there as well that um, you could add to these planners, which is great because um, they also had one in there. If you are thinking about going to go purchase one from your local micro store or 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 online, um, they had one to where you can actually make your own or or like um, create your own. And I think that is wonderful because. I hope that I'll be able to um, add and still do other things um, with this. And I believe I can from the looks of the inserts and stuff. Um, I believe I should be able to add and take away and stuff like that. So I'm going to research that a little bit more to make sure that I can use this going forward. But this was just a quick update on my Happy Planner. I'm very happy about my Happy Planner. And um, I look forward to sharing it with you guys. And... I hope you guys like it and go purchase it.